find the resultant of the vectors 2ac, 5bc, 2cd, 5cd, and 2da. Here are some of the options. A, 2ac, B, 2ad, C, 5ad, D, 5bc, E, 5bd. Now what I'm going to do, I first of all have to group this. There are different approaches you can use for this. But for this video, I'm going to group this, this, and this together. And I'm group this and this together. So in other words, I'm going to have 2ac plus 2cd plus 2da. I am just going to work this out and I'll put it that separately. So the next thing I'm going to do, let me just factor out two from this. I'm going to have two into AC plus CD plus TA. Now let's go back to this again. What I'm trying to, what I intend to do is to make this very simple for us to solve. So I'll go back to this. So you have AC, you can see AC, B, D. So it means that we're going to have, um, um a quadrilateral because we have four sides here so i'm going to draw a quadrilateral and represent the side let's see this so this is my quadrilateral this quadrilateral is just going to is just to represent the sides a b c and this with i am not drawing it to any scale so i have a b c d now next i'll draw diagonal a c and b d so let me draw that so this is my complete uh, quadrilateral. Now, this is what I intend to do here. This AC here, I want to express AC in terms of other values, C and D. Let's see. So here, I'm going to have AC. It's going to be equal to... Now, this is a simple logic that you're going to do. If I want to move from A to point C, there are two ways I can go there. I can go directly from A to C, or I move through AD, then DC. So it means that AC is going to be equal to AD plus DC, like this. AC is equal to AD plus DC. So now, so I'm going to replace AC with AD plus DC. So therefore, I'm going to have 2 into so AC now is going to be AD plus DC then I have plus CD plus DA now from this So from this, AD is equal to negative DA or vice versa. Or you can say DA is equal to negative AD and DC is equal to negative CD or vice versa. So from here, you can see that this will cancel out this because they are uh, same in magnitude but opposite in direction. And this will cancel and this. So this is equal to zero. Hence, 2 into AC plus CD plus D or 2AC plus 2CD plus 2DA is equal to zero. Next, so we are done with the sum of this. This and this will be equal to zero. So we can go with 5BC and 5DC. So now we can write this and write this as 5 into BC plus CD. So again, we are going to make use of our <coughs> quadrilateral here. So we are looking for, we're going to express BC in terms of C and D. So I'll go to this point. Now look at this. This is BC. If I want to move from B to C, there are two ways I can go. I can move directly from B to C, or I go from B to D, then D to C. So that would be BC 
is equal to BD plus DC. So I'm going to have, so this is going to be equal to 5 into BD plus DC then plus CD. Now again, DC is negative DC is equal to negative CD or vice versa. So this will cancel out this. So this automatically cancels out this. So we are left with 5B D. So that's our result. So you can look through this. So from the option, option E is the correct answer.